I did not expect this. He comes around the corner. I go, are, are, what are you going to do? Hit me over ham? And he hit me. That's the manager of a subway in Madera, California. And yes, this surveillance cam captures the moment a customer punches her in the face because he didn't get double ham on his sandwich. Sure, the likes of Mike Tyson have been known to go for a bit of extra meat, but when this subway slug went down in early May, the manager who got attacked says the guy didn't even pay for double ham. He only paid for six slices of meat, not 12. He punched me, all I could remember is just just black. Those are other employees helping the manager fend off the porky patron, who ultimately gets tackled with the help of a customer in the store. I still can't feel half of my face. I can't feel nothing. I'm scared that there's going to be some kind of damage permanent. I've never been so numb to where my face feels like it's a mask, you know? The guy accused of hitting the subway manager was arrested for battery. And as noted by this man whose profession has long been associated with all things pork, a piggy punch is never an okay thing to throw. Never. They went behind the counter, I believe, and punched the, the female manager. Take one casual perusal of the public freakout subreddit, and you'll see video after video of people losing their <laughs> in public, everywhere from airplanes to parking lots to playing mini golf. Come on! And in a 2022 study in Harvard Business Review, a survey of 2,000 workers from across the globe, except Antarctica, sorry dude, 76% of respondents say they experience incivility at least once a month. 74% believe it's not unusual for customers to behave badly. And 78% think bad behavior from customers towards employees is more common than it was five years ago. Numbers that the author says have risen steadily since conducting this survey in 2012. That author cites all sorts of reasons for this shift. Stress, anger, weak community ties, isolation due to technology, and a general lack of self-awareness. And as the dean of the Yale School of Public Health told Axios last September, there's a breakdown of social norms, which a neuropsychologist blames on the pandemic's every man for himself circumstances, a world descending into the Lord of the Flies over two-ply toilet paper. Now the experts in that Axios piece don't believe these behaviors need to be permanent. They think we all just need to go back to practicing the golden rule. Not the one from that blank check movie where an 11-year-old tries to date a woman or 30s, but the ethical precept, as laid out by Britannica, of do to others what you would have them do to you. I'm 4'11". This guy was 6'5", 400, almost 400 pounds. That subway manager who was attacked is scared to go back to work now. I did not deserve this at all. I was in there just doing my job. There was nothing wrong with it. There was the, the sandwich was made to where our subway standards I don't, I don't know. He didn't even give me a chance to try to figure it out. What did he want? She's currently on leave from work and plans to press charges and possibly sue the guy for attacking her over a couple of pieces of ham. And while these days Subway may be undergoing an eat fresh refresh, we here on YouTube are undergoing something of a news refresh. That is, subscribe to At The News Refresh for more weird and interesting news stories in your feed each and every day. Like this old video we made about a $10 million grand champion ham. That's uh, quite the upsell.